Well, we finished our move to Italy. Welcome to our Italian villa. So as you can imagine, living in Italy is different than living in America. Come on in, let's show you. So sorry it's been a while, but I have been trying to get things unpacked. This is video that I took the day we moved in, so you will notice none of our things are out, but you'll see as we go through the front door here, there's an alarm system, and the doors don't have doorknobs. They just have handles, so use the key to get in, much like Germany. We have a few different levels in our house. Um, you notice that the flooring throughout the entire house is tile, and they use radiator heating, just like in Germany. You'll see the air conditioner units hanging up on the wall, and these air conditioners are actually very needed in Italy in the summer, I'm told. Whereas in Germany, most houses don't have air conditioners. In Italy, most houses do. Off of the master bedroom is the balcony and you can just see the beautiful village around our house. The backyard is rather big and now it's mostly taken up with, with our large trampoline and gymnastics equipment, but you can kind of see here we have a wall surrounding. Most places do also have a wall and a fence, and we'll show you the front gate in just a little bit. Each room has a ceiling fan, which is very helpful, I'm told, in the summer, so we're excited about that. Most rooms have maybe three outlets, so that has been a challenge thus far as well. Now we're going to head into the bathroom. We have this bathroom here that has the bathtub, sink, and of course toilet. As you'll see, the wall has some beautiful painting on the tile that we really love. And right up above is a cord. And if you pull on the cord, it sounds a small alarm that you can hear throughout the house. So now you can see a little bit more of the bathroom. We're gonna head over to the toilet and the bidet. As everybody knows, Italy is well known for the bidets. What it's used for is after you go to the bathroom, instead of using toilet paper, you can switch on over to the bidet, get the water nice and warm, and spritz off instead of having to use toilet paper. Certain family members have also pointed out that it would make a good urinal. There's a place for soap and a towel rack, of course. Another interesting thing about our upstairs bathroom is that we have two of them. Now you'll find this to be quite fascinating. There is a sink in the second one as well and a standing shower. But noticeably what is missing is a toilet. I'm not sure if that would be considered a half bathroom or a quarter bathroom in the States. Now we're gonna move downstairs to the living room. You'll notice the radiator heat again and all the windows and doors have roll-it-ins. If you wanna know what a roll-it-in is, definitely check out our Germany video because we have a demonstration by David there. Here's our front porch and it's a great place. So we've set up our patio table and chairs now and you can see the front gate very easily from the patio and walk around to the back, of course. Also, we have a built-in outdoor fireplace that is somewhat common here in Italy and we can't wait to use it this summer. Again, there you see the side yard. And now it's time to check out our kitchen. There are lots of differences between Italian and American kitchens. One of those is there's a sorting station for us under the sink where we can sort our recyclables. We'll go over the differences between Germany and Italy on recycling in a future video. Another thing is above the sink, there is actually a drying rack built into the cupboards. It's a fun addition, but sadly our plates are too big for there, so. This right over here, they like to hide the appliances in what looks like cupboards. So I really like how they do that. And over here you'll see we have a gas stove, and the only slide out drawers we have are right here under the stove. It's a mess, but I like to actually have a drawer to put my silverware in. I was a little worried when we got there in the first place, I didn't see it right away. And now you can see where we have the oven. Of 
course the ovens are in Celsius for heating, so you kind of got to learn those conversions. And there are a few different buttons that took us a bit to learn how to use, but look at that tiny little oven. I definitely have had to pack away a few of my baking dishes because they will not fit, but we've made it work. Another thing is the refrigerator and the freezer. Here's the freezer down below. Look at that, hidden wonderfully in the cupboards. I really do like how they do that. Although the freezer and the refrigerator are very small, we have had to put an American size refrigerator in the kitchen. So in Germany, we had 220 voltage, just like we have in Italy. And we had these converters and they were for plugging things into the wall. And we had this kind of plug. In Germany. But in Italy, we have to invert it with these little inverters with three little plugs. So this German plug has to go into the European, I mean the Italian plug, and then the Italian plug has to go into the wall like that. Or if you have something that is Italian, your plug will look like this with three little prongs.